Some transfer deadline day news here, and it's involving Harry Souter. And according to the fourth official shout out, and a lot of people on Twitter, let's dive into this tweet. Exactly what I said on the fourth official Patreon yesterday Harry Souter wants to come to Rangers. Problem is, Ben Davies refusing to leave, which is creating an issue with the wages. So, shout out to the fourth official, shout out to everyone who broke this on Twitter. And Ben Davies, mate, what are you on? I need to know what you're on. Absolutely shafting us because because of this because of, because of you, you don't want to leave and you know what I actually said this previously we signed this guy for like what four around four million I don't care if it was four and a half or three and a half right whatever it's a, it's it's in that ballpark right sorry to burst everyone's bubble but that's just the way it is right so you look at it from that point of view right of this why. In the name of Christ, did we even sign Ben Davies? Because I knew, looking to try and sell this guy, you wouldn't be able to get rid of him. Because who, what championship club's honestly going to pay for him? He's fuck, he's pants. And it's got nothing to do with him refusing to play. I, I've been saying this for ages, man. Like, la, like last year, man, when this guy was in the defence, he was a bomb scare. He needed Goldson to hold his fucking hand. And then when Suter came in, he needed him to hold his hand. He's, no, I, it, it was that goal at Parkhead where... It was like, you know, at the line and he didn't even bother his arse defending it. Like, he, he just, he lapped it and then I believe it was, the ball was whipped in. Was it from Yota? And then it went into the back of the net. He, he half arsed it. He fucking bottled a challenge. And ever since then, I, I gave up on Ben Davies. And I think most people at home gave up on Ben Davies. And for me, I, I just don't think any other club is really going to sign up. I mean, you, you look at what Celtic done this, they've brought in Nat Phillips. A guy that's actually played a few games for Liverpool. This guy never played a game for Liverpool. Honestly, the guy is pants. A long way Dujon Sterling. But the question, the problem is, with Dujon Sterling, we've just brought him in. And uh, yeah, I kind of went in heavy on Dujon Sterling in the, uh, the PSV match review. But you know what? I think it was within reason. I don't think it was, uh, you know, too hectic, so to speak. But I tell you what, I've got the flu. And, well, maybe COVID, I don't know, right? But... I am absolutely dying. The Europa League draw is on right now, but they're only doing like, you know, pot one. Uh, they're, they're just talking about the pot one teams at the minute. Um, so, yeah. But the draw reaction will be up, guys. In terms of any other news, like, it's just a bit depressing these days, man. Pumped 5-1. Like, I mean, I absolutely scud it. Make no mistake about it. John O'Shea's just come out as the Europa League ambassador. That sounds like the worst thing I've ever heard in my life, right? But, you know... We're not going to sign anyone. I would actually be shocked if we bring in Harry Sutter. I would be. Right, we're not going to sign anyone. We've just been scudded at the Champions League. Now, we could get an easy draw, to be fair. But I, it's the fact that Beal came out and said that even if we qualified, we weren't going to sign any any players. It doesn't, it doesn't change our uh, transfer model. I, I mean, I can't believe that. You're led you're to fucking believe that the Champions League is the promised land and... You know, all, all of this money. And obviously there is a lot of money in it, but not us. Not us. It's like, ah, well, sure, it wouldn't matter if you did it. But pot one, the teams are going to be beginning to come out now. Uh, Giorgio Marchetti, of course, he was the guy doing it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Imagine if we did get in the Champions League, though, with the way we're defending set pieces. Fucking hell, man. Imagine, imagine getting that Group F. Now, albeit we would have got... Uh, I think we would have been... No, uh, we would have got Arsenal's group because we think we would have been pot free in the... You know, Arsenal, Sofia and Lens. It's not exactly the hardest group in the world. I think we could have, you know, did better than last year where we lost every fucking game. But that's where we're going to leave these guys. Hopefully I feel better soon. But the the draw, to be honest, this FID will probably be up after the draw because it, this FID doesn't really need to be uploaded right now. But the draw, when it comes out, needs to be. So anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Till next time. Peace.